The Japan summit over now, Prime Minister is holding talks of the FIPIC, which is, remember, the island nations and specifically uh, Papua New Guinea, which is uh, presently hosting the 14 island nations. The bilateral talks are on between India and Papua New Guinea. Talks to strengthen ties between two nations, climate, health and technology discussed in the meeting. And uh, this is very significant with the partnership across sectors of trade and investment. This is important, remember. This is also bringing the island nations back into focus of the world discourse. And that is why it's uh, important to further discuss it, highlight it. Joining me now in this morning telecast is our managing editor, Gaurav Savan, for the latest. Gaurav, good morning. Uh, you know, there is Japan and then there is Australia. And many were wondering why the island nations, but that's where India is highlighting that it values every nation, every island as equally. The relationship between India and Papua New Guinea, uh, if you were to look at the images just as Prime Minister Narendra Modi landed, uh, he was received by the Prime Minister of that country, of the island nation, who bent down, touched Prime Minister Narendra Modi's feet. Uh, and then uh, gave that very traditional uh, welcome there. Uh, this is a mark of respect. In fact, um, you know, they wanted to know what is the best Indian way of greeting uh, someone, people of a country, respect. And, uh, you know, when that relationship is all about uh, helping a friend in need, uh, that's where that relationship and that respect comes from the bottom of, uh, you know, their Prime Minister's heart. Uh, you'd recall uh, the vaccine Maitri at one point of time was being criticized uh, that why is India prioritizing one, medicines being given to other countries uh, at the height of COVID, two, uh, why countries that really uh, do not matter big in India's scheme of things, as some had argued. India made it sure that every country that required the vaccine got it um, and on priority. And that really helped Papua New Guinea, the people of that country. It's a very small island nation. But uh, can I also tell you, it's also equally important to ensure that these countries uh, do not fall prey to China's debt trap diplomacy uh, and become a military outpost for China, as has been the case in some of these islands. That's the apprehension. So that is where democracies, Puja, play a very critical role, uh, whether it's India, Australia, Japan, or the United States of America. Four powerful democracies operating together, working together to ensure that sea lanes of communication remain open and Smaller countries or democracies, other democracies do not fall prey to expansionist forces in the region. Heartwarming gesture that was uh, speaking as much about the Prime Minister James Marape of Papua New Guinea to touch the feet of the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Modi, as a mark of gesture of respect, but also in turn how Prime Minister reacted. Pleasantly surprised, he turned to a warm handshake, hug, and patting him on the back to say, in a way, it's not needed. But that is where the vaccine, Maitri, as Gaurav has correctly pointed out, come to mention here. Thank you so much. Gaurav Savan this morning on the first up with the latest. So the Japan summit is over of the G7. And before heading to Australia, it was Papua New Guinea, where the focus was on the island Pacific nation. We're talking about FIPIC, which is a forum of the Indo-Pacific island nations. 14 nations together on one ground. Prime Minister Modi is currently there. This is the second leg of the three-nation tour. On his arrival, he got this exceptional ceremonial welcome at Port Moresby, which, uh, where the Prime Minister James Marape himself personally received him as a mark of respect, touched his feet. During the first ever visit by any Indian Prime Minister, Modi is jointly hosting the third summit for the FIPIC with his counterpart. Modi will also have bilateral meeting with the, the Governor and Prime Minister along with other leaders as well before he heads to Australia. This year our G20 presidency ki theme bhi. Vasudev Kutum Kamke Us Siddhant Ke Prakash Mein One Earth वन फैमिली वन फ्यूचर वो भी इसी विचारधारा पर आधारित है इस वर्ष जनवरी में हमने वॉइस ऑफ साउथ ग्लोबल साउथ वॉइस ऑफ ग्लोबल साउथ समिट का आयोजन किया आपके प्रतिनिधियों ने इसमें भाग लिया अपने विचार साझा किए और इसके लिए मैं आपका अभिनंदन करता हूं डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी हो या स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी हेल्थ सिक्योरिटी हो या फूड सिक्योरिटी क्लाइमेट चेंज हो या एनवायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन हो 
हम हर तरह आपके साथ हैं 